Imagine being stuck in space for months, far beyond what you signed up for. That's the reality for NASA astronaut Sunita Williams, who just completed her first space walk after over seven months aboard the International Space Station. On Thursday, Williams teamed up with fellow astronaut Nick Hague for her eighth space walk. Their mission to tackle overdue repairs on the ISS. The tasks included fixing equipment, controlling the station's orientation, patching light filters on the nicer X-ray telescope, and replacing a docking adapter reflector. This was no ordinary day in space. It marked NASA's first successful spacewalk since an aborted attempt last summer, which had been halted due to a spacesuit cooling system failure. NASA resolved this issue paving the way for Williams and Haig to step out safely. Originally, Williams and her colleague Butch Wilmore were set for a week-long mission on Boeing's Starliner capsule in June 2024, but things didn't go as planned. Technical glitches, including helium leaks and thruster malfunctions, forced Starliner to return unmanned. The delays didn't stop there. With the SpaceX launch of the replacements postponed, the two astronauts' mission extended indefinitely. Now, they're expected to return to Earth no earlier than late March or April, nearly 10 months after the initial launch. Former astronaut Mike Massimino says delays such as this are part of the sacrifices made by those who venture into space. Massimino, who is also an author and engineering professor at Columbia University, knows both Williams and Wilmore and referred to them as his heroes in an interview with Reuters. I think every astronaut would probably handle that a little bit differently. And you really don't know how you're going to handle it until that, until that situation. I think that they understood what was going on. They agree with the decision and they're going to be 100% on board and just do a great job. But I wouldn't be surprised if there may have been a little bit, of, you know, just a little bit of disappointment in that they're going to be up there a little bit longer, which may sound odd to people. But, you know, I know that both of them are, have, have great families and friends and a lot going on on Earth. And even though they're in a, a great place, you kind of have a mindset that, well, I'm going to be doing this for this long and then I'm going to get a chance to to go home and see my family and friends again. So there may have been a little bit of disappointment in there that they uh, that they needed to uh, adjust their mindset with. This isn't the end of Williams's spacewalks. She's scheduled for another outing on January 23rd, this time with Wilmore. The tasks ahead include removing a radio frequency antenna, collecting microorganism samples, and preparing a backup joint for the Canadrum 2 robotic arm. Each spacewalk lasts over six hours, no small feat, even for seasoned astronauts like Williams, who have spent a significant part of their careers in zero gravity. NASA faces unique hurdles with this mission. The decision to bring Williams and Wilmore back aboard SpaceX's Dragon capsule highlights the competition between Boeing and SpaceX. While Boeing is working on fixing Starliner's issues, the success of these extended missions depends heavily on backup plans like SpaceX's support. For Sunita Williams, the delays may have meant extra time away from her family, but they've also underscored the resilience and adaptability astronauts need in space. With another spacewalk just days away, her contributions to the ISS remain invaluable. Stay tuned as NASA navigates the challenges of space exploration and works toward bringing its astronauts home safely.